Let's talk about a weird squatting variation. The Zercher squat, or Zerker, I don't, I don't really know. Z-E-C-H-E-R is how it's spelled. So this one is kind of like a front squat because the weight is in front of your body. It's a little bit weird and it's a little bit uncomfortable, but front squatting in general is uncomfortable, so it can't get much worse, right? Oh, it can. So, I don't have a barbell to show this to you, but the barbell sits in your elbow. Sometimes you'll hold your hands like this, or you can just keep them like this if you're a super masochist, I guess. This, this uh, barbell sits in front of your body. It allows you to shift back while you're squatting down. Same squatting rules apply. Feet stay flat. Don't arch your back. Don't let your back collapse. Don't let your chest cave down and maintain that position while you squat just like this. Okay, you'll see it looks a lot like a goblet squat, but instead of holding the weight here in my hands, I'm holding the weight here in the crux of my elbow. What are the advantages? So a goblet squat with, with the extra leverage away from you, since the weight is further away from your body, it puts more torque on your back and more on your arm. So it's, it's harder to hold and it's harder to load extra weight on. But with the Zercher squat, you keep the weight in your elbow. It sits a little closer to your body. It, the pressure is really uncomfortable on your elbows, but if you're, you know, sick in the head like me, then it, it's probably fine. It might hurt a little bit, but you'll be better after. It's like free massage or something. Uh, you can actually load the Zercher squat up a lot more. You'll feel it a lot more in your legs. It's going to be similar to the, the front squat in that you're going to want to break here. You're going to want to collapse in the middle of your body in like your mid back area. And you'll see this kind of happen, this collapse. Instead, all you got to do is you got to monitor one, you got to monitor how much weight you're using. Two, you got to monitor how much volume you're doing. Is your set too long? Are you asking yourself to do too many reps? Is this your fifth set and that's way too many for you? Keep those things in mind. Try to be very objective about your training. If you're seeing your positions change as you train, if, if say set one looks really good, but set five does not, maybe go back and see where too much was. Maybe set five was too much. Maybe set four was too much. Just try to look at everything really objectively. If you're going up in weight, same idea, right? If you can get the lift, that doesn't mean you can get it well. And that doesn't mean that it's useful for you. What I would instead suggest is picking a weight and a sets and reps range that you can maintain good positions throughout. Okay. So recap. Zercher squat, a lot like a front squat, kind of like a goblet squat, but you can use more weight, you can load your hips more, you can load your legs more. Uh, you're still gonna look out for the same things. Don't let your knees collapse in, don't let your body weight shift forward, don't let your chest cave, don't arch your back, don't go too low. Make sure you're not overexerting yourself. Make sure you're challenging yourself appropriately so that you feel rejuvenated after you work out instead of shitty.